Hey there, our second minute documentary will talk about the Spanish Maquis, a guerrilla of exotic clans after the Spanish Civil War, due to fight Franco against the 1960s. The members of this group were allowed and they carried out sabotage robberies to finance their actions. They also contributed to the fight against Nazi Germany and the Vichy regime in France during World War II. After the Spanish Civil War from 1936 to 1939, there were guerrillas who continued fighting against Franco regime carrying out sabotage, robberies, assassinations of Franquists. One of these groups were the Maquis, who used to hide in the Pyrenees and other Spanish Peninsula mountains. One of the most important Maquis was Ramon Villa, known as Caracramada, Bareface, who was a Catalan anarchist and member of the Confederación Nacional del Trabajo, CNT, a workers' union. When he was a kid, he was caught by a thunder, which caused scars in his face and killed his mother. For this reason, he was called Perface. Then he started to work in a factory and participate in many sabotage and insurrections. As a consequence, he got into prison several times. When the Spanish Civil War started in 1936, he joined the Republicans and fought against Franco soldiers. Finally, in 1939, he got exiled to France where he was interned in a concentration camp. When he escaped, he joined the Maquis and came back to Catalonia to fight Franco until 1963, when he was assassinated by the Guardia Civil, a Spanish police corps, in an ambush near the town of Balsarain.
enseñar un, eh, nada más que llegar a la cárcel los trajeron aquí se los pasaron por las armas y ahí están, mira, sin una insignia salvo esa que se ha puesto su mujer, nadie ningún partido de elección política nada más que de cerca, individuos están aquí como veis, clave de rojos y eso, verá, aquí, nada, olvidado de la historia esto es ignominioso y denigrante estos cuatro hombres que están aquí enterrados, yo estimo que eran monumentos, gente que participaron en la revolución Another important member of the Maquis was Kiko Sabaté. Kiko is a short name for Francesc. He was born in 1915 and when he was 20 he refused military service. That's the beginning of his life outside the law. Some years before, when he was 17, he had joined CNT, a labor union, and he created an anarchist group. During the Civil War, he fought in the Aragon Front. After the war, he returned to France, where he was confined in the interim camp of Agnès d'Agir. In 1954, he joined an action group against Franco. He was jailed in France, but he escaped and during the next years ran away and was known as the enemy number one. In 1959, he returned to Spain to help an old friend, and his men and him were able to hide from patrol controls for 28 days. All of them died, but Kiko was in He skipped into a train, but he was discovered, so he jumped out of it near San Saloni, where, after another firing, he died at the age of And this has been the story of two Catalonian Macis. We hope you enjoyed.